So, Chris Inner Kings. It's um, not a Paradox game I've played as much as EO4. EO4 is still like my king in terms of amount of time I've played. Um, but CK2 is fun. And the thing that makes CK2 interesting is when you don't think about it as a world conquest game. When you when you think about it more as a role playing game where crazy things happen, that's really where like the sweet spot of Crusader Kings is. And that has certainly happened over here. For those of you who weren't here last week, what I did is I started at the um, the Century of Iron bookmark, which is 934. And then I just went into observer mode and let the game run on fast speed for like um, 30 plus years. And, and then we picked someone at that point, you know, so it's, it like shakes up the world and you, you get a different start that you don't normally see. And there was this weird thing where there was this titular it's, it's, it's duchy chocolate, chocolate. Um, over here run by, well, originally a two-year-old girl. We got whiskey and chocolate from Banana Cabana. Hey, hat hype. <laughs> I know it's a beautiful crown. It's cloth, which is actually makes it pretty comfortable, actually. I think it's pretty swanky, the faux fur around the edge. I like it. Um... So originally a two-year-old girl running this duchy, independent duchy, not part of any kingdom. Um, and we actually, I, I let the time go forward until she became 16 years old. So she became of age as a ruler, still existed, still an independent ruler. Actually at the time betrothed to the, um, uh, the King of England's only son and her mother, like her father had died and her mother had married, remarried the King of France crazy effective family uh we did break off the betrothal though because it wasn't matrilineal and we've been playing ever since and we have been making a very saintly woman um because i've, I've you know i haven't really played much since they added the the bloodline system and i'm kind of eager to see if we can have a sainted bloodline now to become a saint first of all so when you die there are certain cri criteria to become uh, beatified. I was checking out some of the criteria and some of the systems on the wiki. Um, and that's basically just a yes, no. If you meet these criteria, uh, you enter into like pre-sainthood mode. Um, and then after that, uh, some time will pass. And then there's just a percentage chance based on a variety of things, whether or not you'll become uh, a saint. Um, and we're pretty well set up. I and mean, we joined the Benedictine order. And as a result, we have like, well, we had all the virtues. We very recently lost one of the seven virtues. Uh, so we only have six of the seven virtues, but we are extremely virtuous. We have no vices. We also, as far as I know, don't have any sort of sinful traits. Um, I think ambitious is fine. And then our other traits are zealous, which is going to be totally okay. Uh, honest and trusting, which are fine. Um, unfortunately, we can't become a crusader because uh, with our laws, I don't think that a, a female character can run a... Um, um, command an army yeah so we're, we're not in the list so and i think for getting crusader i think you personally have to lead an army uh during a crusade so i don't think we can do that um we are however a lunatic that's happened relatively late in the run last week uh we had the measles which we, we you know yoloed an experimental treatment i think it was measles i can't remember yoloed an experimental treatment um and uh we are now a lunatic and I was doing some looking up, and it looks like there's basically no way to remove this. I guess there's one extremely rare event that can just very randomly pop up to maybe do it. But otherwise, there's no real way of doing it. There might be a way to work it a little, because characters have a trait limit. And if you can somehow get above or hit the trait limit, then it like will randomly remove another trait, and maybe you can lose Lunatic. But basically, there's no way to lose Lunatic. I think rulers can always... Except it doesn't look like I can. Oh, oh hold on. I have leading armies turned off. Wait a minute. Oh, there I am. So, yes, if there is another crusade, we actually could lead an army. Um, actually, leading an army is a pretty good idea, because I'm kind of okay with dying with this character. Sort of, kind of, any time when. In a sense, the longer we rule, the more stable and rich and prosperous the realm will be. But I'm worried, especially now with the lunatic, that we might get random events that could potentially give us a vice. Um, and if we have any vice whatsoever, I don't think uh, we can start the road to sainthood. So... Yeah, we can we can look into that. Um, yeah, but glitter hoof, I know, right? Um, so we're we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, our heir is currently Prince Theano over here, um, who's who's now thirty. I mean, you know, he's uh, he's getting there. I guess we had him when we were seventeen. But I think we we like we we set up everything for like maximum fertility because we had we have basically no um, no dynasty really. Um, that was it. We had 
our father, who was dead, our mother, who was away, and us. That was the entirety of our dynasty. So we had to, like, start making sure we were spreading the dynasty ASAP or we're going to, like, end game if something randomly killed us. So you had Theano over here. Um, he is stressed, which is really quite poor, uh, mostly for the minus health. Luckily, he's pretty young, so the stress shouldn't kill him. Um, he is proud, which is, while it is a vice, it's not a terribly terrible vice, um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to see... Uh, oh, no, I can't. I, he's. Uh, we've already taught him virtues and things like that. I think my husband, I can teach him virtue. Um, and he's got Lustful, which doesn't make do anything for us anymore because we are beyond the age of fertility. So we're just going to randomly teach him a virtue, which does boost our relationship as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It'll lose some devotion, but that's okay. So he's become a better man in theory. All right. Now... Um, one of the things we can do to increase the chance of becoming a saint is just dying with more piety. Dying with X amount of piety, where X depends on what your, your chief title is, is the threshold for uh, beatification, the like, pre-sainthood step. But then after that, the more you have, the greater the percentage chance, excuse me, of becoming a saint. So as much of that as possible. Um, there is one button we could hit to try to push that along, which would be to um, buy indulgences for my sin. But I think it's only like 50 piety per, so it's like, meh, meh. Hey, cool man! How is Queen now? So we're 47. What was Cool Band's previous message? It's a nice hat you're wearing. Yes! I have a fucking crusade. Uh, that would be very convenient right now if we, uh, if we could get a crusade going on. In terms of expansion plans, again, I don't... Whiskey and chocolate from Dereva! Oh, hail Ava! Ava! Dereva! Thank you very much! <laughs> All hail the queen! so funny. This is the random name of our character when we started, but yeah, it's funny that Durava is in there. Um, uh, wait, we, we, I don't want to play this as a map painting game, but you know, expansion is still kind of fun, so you know, we will do it where it makes sense. Um, specifically, continuing the Reconquista over here would be kind of nice, right? We're gonna send out these, reclaim the rest of Iberia for, for Christian soldiers and things, or something like that. Um, so we'll do that. We do currently have a truce over here, though, so we can't expand down here at this time. We don't currently have a truce versus Navarra, which is awkwardly split over here, mostly because of things I've done. We also can create a duchy title over here, which would include, um, uh, the county of Armagnac. The thing is, we're pretty good friends with, um, with France right now, including, um, having an alliance. Don't we? Do we not have an alliance with them anymore? No, because I think... I think, yeah, we had the alliance with the king. I don't think we have an alliance with the, yeah, form alliance with our nephew here. Now, there's a chance we could form an alliance. I think we still want to. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. Although, there, are you currently in a war? No, you're not currently in a war. I wasn't sure because of these little, like, scritchy bits. It must be internal wars. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. Oh, Carling. Oh, my Carling. Oh, my Carling, dear nephew. Um, we don't really need the alliance. I mean, worst case scenario might be if Leon starts something. Because they actually have a, access to a lot of troops. They don't have any CBs on me. I don't really want to fight France. You know what? Let's see if we can... Um, Let's see if we can keep a, an alliance going on. No, never mind. Really not interested. Okay. Maybe we can do betrothals. I think we've already married our daughter away. And yeah, she's she's a little bit older. Uh, yeah, Tsarina Eva of Bulgaria. So we married her to the Tsar of Bulgaria. She's got a hair lip, but otherwise, you know, pretty cool. You could also try to grab some existing bloodlines. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unpause. We're going to get our troops together. We are currently threatening, although it's not a very significant amount of threatening, and it's decaying pretty quickly. I'm not too worried about defensive packs. Another crusade against Pope? What? <laughs> Popes are bro, man. Uh, hey! Technology points. Excellent. All right. You auto-balance the unit. And, yeah, let's go ahead and let's put our cells with our 8 Marshal in charge of bits of the army over here, because why not? 
Uh, Vassal levies raised too long. I don't think they're currently raised. I think that's just, yeah. No, we only have retinues. Hey, we got a helmet on. Cool. Uh, I'd really like to build this uh, retinue of light cavalry here. We just need to raise our retinue cap a little bit. We are currently working on a great work. We're working on a grand cathedral over here. And yeah, I know the Grand Harbor and stuff like that has like, um, makes us more money and whatever. But again, you know, we all glory to God is the way we're playing this. So of course we're going to build a cathedral in our capital. What else could we possibly do? Uh, I don't think we can declare a crusade ourselves. We can start a holy war, but a crusade, I believe, is something the Pope calls. How did you like Planfall? Quite a bit, and actually they're making some interesting changes um, to game balance and things like that. It looks like they're going to be pretty active about some neat things. I can start writing a book. We should definitely do this. The more books we can pass on to our family... So I made a cookbook over here. Um... Oh, which is not a stewardship boost, but it is a wealth boost. That's nice. But yeah, we can do another one. We have great diplomacy, uh, and we have pr great learning as well. This was sort of a stewardship book, so we'll try one of these two. Um, it does take a long time. Hopefully we can get it done before we die. Compose a book, increases of relationships, so relating to diplom diplomacy or intrigue. Hopefully diplomacy, because my intrigue is a one. Um, we could do a learning one. I think, because I think the skill of the person writing the book affects the quality of the book. So, it maybe, you know, in the honor of God, because, you know, we're still kind of religious-y, Book of the Mad Saint. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we become the Mad Saint. A lunatic book, perfect. From Nzaki with the resub at 57. Thank you very much for that. Do, 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 do. How's Luna effect affecting health? Um, it, it doesn't. So it makes us less attractive and... Some people don't like us as much, and it's going to lead to some really interesting options and some events and things like that. So we'll just have to wait for some of those to come up. Uh, we basically became a, a lunatic right at the end of last stream, so I'm curious to see where it's going to go from here. Mm -hmm. ah! Skill, education, lifestyle are all relevant. Nice. We died. <gasps> My daughter was murdered! Oh no! Oh no! I should get three children, all princesses. Oh, I mean, I didn't really have any ability to, to like do anything. She was living off in Bulgaria. At the orders of Count. Damn, you bastard! Uh, received letter from a fellow member of the Benedictine Order, which is our our society that we're in over here. Um, I don't know. Pick that. Avenger, declare a crusade. He wants us to build a church, uh, which is very expensive to do. Hey, Phenomenox! Na 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 na. Phenomenox. Na 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 na. Thank you very much for that, buddy. Very appreciated. Thank you. Uh, we had so much fun last week with the, this stream. I'm hoping if this today's stream is like half as crazy as last week's stream, we have such a great time. Uh, took offense to my comments, da 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 Implore, bear with me, it's not finished. I could publish it and get a temporary boost to diplomacy. Oh, no, we're gonna get more monthly piety. I mean, that's not that much, but I want to crack in as much piety as possible. Who dared murder your daughter? I know. Some random, um, Bulgarian count. There we go. Building friendship. Excellent. I know Bidensis kill them. I don't know if we can. Oh, man. Okay, our spy master over here, Mera Pelagio, is really killing it here in, in uh, Byz uh, Byzantium. Well, Constantinople, I should say, specifically. Which is a good place to go and, and spy, because they tend to have pretty good tech. Uh, we have some money. I do want to build up some spare money, um, in case we need some mercs all of a sudden. We do have a fair number of expenses going towards our uh, Grand Cathedral here. Yearly cost of 33... Uh, Buckaroonies. Kuman, you're building the Grand Cathedral for the Great Toilet King. Wait, where did you start with the Toilet King thing, cool man? Why? Looks like your spy master won't last long. Well, I mean, that's always a possibility. You can you can get busted spying over there. Uh, what's the skill? It's only 15, which isn't great. So Prince Theano is currently our steward. He does have that 20 stewardship, which is amazing. Good marshal at 22 as well. Chancellor is currently trying to fabricate claims right over here. Because if we take that, we can uh, make a duchy. I think the duchy of Navarra over here. Because we'll have two of the three bits. Trader from Zaragoza. Dire need of new ship equipment to continue bringing in goods to the realm. Oh, I think this is the trade route to... Um, we had a trade going with... Uh, I want to say Denmark? But yeah, we'll spend the money to keep the trade route running rather than lose prestige. I mean, I'm hoping. I think it is... 
the trade route is giving us more income, so I think it is a worthwhile investment to keep it going on. Yeah, Navarro's doing some warring. There's a bunch of little warring. Oh, that, they're eating, they just ate a bunch of territory from this revolt. Interesting. Oh, the arranged marriage went away. So we can create the kingdom of Valencia, but we're not going to create a kingdom until we can create two kingdoms, because I think if you had three kingdom titles, you can make a, um, oh, you can make a, um, an empire at that point. And that's sort of our goal. We're going to be able to holy war again over here in a second, which is very tempting. Now, we still don't have any holy orders, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a great land grab from them. Common interest. Oh, we're going to become close friends with Theron over here. All right. He'd have an epic depth like St. Lorenzo, patron saint of cooks. He was tortured to death by fire and commented, turn me over, I'm done on this side? What the hell? What's going on east near Barcelona? Um, yeah, Leon is at war with uh, Navarre over here. So I think inevitably we're going we're gonna to have some issues with Leon. Because I think uh, Iberia ain't big enough for the two of us. His peninsula ain't big enough for the two of us. Uh, so I think the truce is over. Yeah. Holy War. I got nut for Alger. Cordoba in the center here probably is what we're looking for. Granada, I mean, more coast would be nice, but the borders are starting to look a little bit derpy. So I kind of like... Uh, what's, what's this area up here? It's not Valencia. What's... Hold on. What's this area? Holy War. Molin Toledo. Can, can I not Holy War for this bit? Yeah, no Algiers in Africa. Yeah. But I don't think there's a Holy War option for this area. Weird, but okay. Uh, you're in a bunch of wars already. Yeah, you're, we're gonna be able to kick your ass. So we're gonna go for Cordoba. We have no border with this here. Oh, maybe because there's an impassable mountain over here, maybe I can't holy war for this bit. Okay. Send that. Raise everything. We don't have really enough money for mercs, unfortunately, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's actually group up over here. Yeah, they still have, like, one random holding over here, which is really weird. He's got 5k troops already raised up, but yeah, he's in a bunch of different wars. So, I think we'll be okay. And yeah, we're gonna lead troops ourselves here. Border is. Send a man to La Mancha. <laughs> uh, okay, that's not us fighting over here. If you're used to EU4's map like me, some of the CK2's impassable terrain is so weird. I do like impassable terrain, though, because it does lead to interesting, like, sort of choke points and strategies and things like that. Um, you see, like, some of that in Hoi 4 comes up, especially if you're fighting in Africa. Group, 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 group. Merge up. There's us. Not a great commander, but that's okay. Core physician suggested to buy him some new equipment for his laboratory. Sure. Hopefully it gives you a skill up. Alright, that's that. Oh, composing a book. Um, my lady begins a note from my chancellor. The writing in your manuscript has come to a halt. Our eldest scholar, most experienced scribe, has passed away. Recommends investing in more scribes or risk lowering quality work. Funding's not an issue. Spend money. Perhaps I can help. This option is available <laughs> because you're a lunatic. Has a chance of raising the quality of your work. Alright, scripts of the uh, lunatic, volume 2. This is just going to be crazed ranting and raving. I like it. So we could go and beat up the army, but I guess we'll go ahead and just focus on sieging the war goals first. Or physician, the equipment help. There you go, plus two learning. Yeah, maybe you can learn how to not make someone into a lunatic next time. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this army in half and grab some of it and send it over here. These guys have no characters. Deleting some of these. Be nice to like filter out people who are, um, ooh, uh, hold on a sec, who are already leading, because I don't want to take things away. Oh, well, whatever. We'll have a, we'll have a Craw. Actually, we'll have Craw lead the middle over here. We just have it be a family thing. No, I don't know. Um, because I'm more. If I do this, did it take away the commanders from the other army? Yeah, it did. Hmm. That's, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, my physician made me a lunatic. Absolutely. Uh, so what was that from Cool Man? Reload, reload, reload. You got the Holy Order already. The Holy Order of the Great Twilight King started by me. Started that three months ago. <laughs> Sword and shield in the icon indicates them leading an army. Oh. Oh, there! Thank you. Okay. Excellent. All right. Cool. But no filter. Uh, one day in a market, strange man comes up to you and offers to sell you that he swears the finger of St. John the Baptist. You look carefully. It doesn't need seem to be a set of human bones. Apparently, it is going to get added to my treasury. Them bones, them bones, them. Oh, it's a quality two. Because we have the quality one generic saint's finger bones. Then we got this for more prestige. Nice. Victory. See, he's just parked over here out of fear or something. Um, we might want to intercept this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Intercept that before they merge up into a larger single army. More close friends. Hey! Duchess Adele is giving us some, some money to help support us in this war. From Flanders. Okay. Battle victory. Capturing some people. Done, done, done. Okay, you've done this. We're going to go here. Mostly because I want to keep these guys as adjacent as possible. Adele said hello. I don't know. Whenever I think of hello, it's not the Adele song. It's... Hello, is it me you're looking for? Na 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 na. Okay, done. And yeah, they keep breaking instantly, so we aren't actually killing that much per. But if we can get more of our light cavalry, it will actually help a fair bit. Yeah, Lionel Richie, baby. That's the one with a video where like the girl changes her haircut halfway through. I think, like, when they had pop-up videos, the TV show, there was, like, great info about that. I'm gonna come over here and blast you before you, you de-siege that. I know we, like, broke our siege, but sort of, saving a siege is sort of the equivalent. And then, as an advantage... These are just rebels, right? Yeah. Um, we get to, uh, to smash some army at the same time. And the morale had recharged, so they weren't running away right away, so we can get more actual kills. Enemy commander killed. Victory over here. Victory over there. Move up over here. <laughs> multiplayer. Eh, there should be some multiplayer today. I don't know what it's going to be yet. <laughs> Probably just more Thunderlords. Um, although part of me does want to do like a, uh, a Twitch votes uh, Slay the Spire run. It's not exactly multiplayer, but it's also fun. Need more land for taxes and church taxes. I'm going to try to de-siege that. I think what we might do is bring our armies together. You want to look at the religious map? Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting because... Oh, not anymore! As I say, there was an ex established... Oh, no, it's still there a little bit. Cathar um, heresy in an independent, like, duchy kind of thing, but it looks like they're getting their asses kicked. Most of the religious map mode is kind of what you'd expect. Oh, you're done sieging over here. Excellent. Okay, let's move you over here. So, the leader of this nation changed, therefore that cancelled the war. So we're not in a war. 
anymore. So we're gonna have to restart it. CK invalidated war, my least favorite mechanic. I know. Oh! On the other hand... No, we won't have a truce or anything, because it's a different leader. Um, or it should be. Yeah, this... I mean, we have raised holding three things. Can we holy war you? Hold on a sec. Um, I gotta drop my troops. Boom, boom. There we go. So we could restart the holy war. Um, which is probably more worthwhile, because um, I really need the uh, the shorter ti truce timer over here. So, let's uh, move back to Valencia. Ransom prisoners, good call. 